This is part one of a nine part video series showing how to rebuild a Toyota solid front axle. It can apply to 1979 through 1985 Toyota pickups and 1984 and 1985 Toyota 4 runners. Additionally, these instructions could also loosely apply to many Toyota Land Cruisers. In today's presentation, we will be showing the teardown procedures of the Toyota front axle. The tools needed for this job are a brass hammer, a large ball peen hammer, a small ball peen hammer, a small coal chisel, a punch, pry bar, standard screwdriver, snap ring spreader pliers, 3 8 drive ratchet, seal removal tool, a 54 millimeter spindle nut socket, a 3 8 impact wrench, two deep sockets, 17 and 14, and two standard sockets, a 12 and 10. Position the axle assembly at a good working height, such as on jack stands or a workbench. Place a pan under the differential, remove the drain plug, and allow the fluid to drain out. After all the fluid has drained out, replace the plug. Remove any debris surrounding the locking hub dial assembly bolts. Remove the locking hub dial assembly bolts using a 10 millimeter socket. Remove the locking dial assembly using a small pry bar. Remove the snap ring using snap ring spreader pliers. Remove the locking hub body nuts using a 12 millimeter socket. Remove the lock washers. Begin the removal of the cone washers by jarring the locking hub body loose using a brass hammer. Further loosen the hub body using a pry bar. Once the hub body becomes loose, remove the cone washers. Once the cone washers are removed, remove the locking hub body. Straighten the tab on the locking washer using a hammer and small chisel. Remove the wheel bearing lock nut using a 54 millimeter spindle nut socket. Remove the lock washer. Remove the wheel bearing adjustment nut. Remove the thrust washer. Remove the outer wheel bearing. Remove the rotor and hub assembly, which also includes the inner wheel bearing and bearing seal. Remove the spindle bolts using a 14 millimeter socket. Remove the spindle retainer plate. Disconnect the backing plate brace. Remove the spindle assembly and set it aside. Rotate the axle so that the two flat spots on the Burfield joint are straight up and straight down. Remove the axle from the axle housing and set it aside. If this axle assembly has heavy duty axles, you may have to wait until the steering knuckles are removed in order to get the axles out. Clean the debris away from the wiper seal bolts. Remove the wiper seal bolts using a 10 millimeter socket. Remove the wiper seal and all its associated components. Simply leave any of the axle wiper seal components that cannot be removed just now resting on the axle housing. They will come off after the steering knuckle has been removed. Remove any debris from the upper bearing cap nuts. Remove the upper bearing cap nuts using a 17 millimeter socket. Remove the lock washers. Jar loose the upper knuckle bearing cap using a ball peen hammer. There we go. 
Once loose, use a pry bar to loosen it even further. Once removed, remove the cone washers. Now set the steering arm and upper bearing cap aside. Clean away any debris from the lower knuckle bearing cap. Remove the bearing cap nuts using a 17 millimeter socket. Remove the lock washers. Jar loose the lower bearing cap using a ball peen hammer. It may be helpful to use a pry bar or a large screwdriver. Remove the steering knuckle. Remove the lower steering knuckle bearing. Remove the upper steering knuckle bearing. Remove the wiper seal and associated components. Using a seal puller, remove the axle seal. Using a hammer and punch, drive out the lower knuckle bearing race. Remove the upper knuckle bearing race. Clean up the ball and ball cavity using brake clean and a cloth. Also, remove any rust or paint left on the outside of the ball in preparation for reassembly. Disassemble the other side of the axle housing following the same steps as done previously. That concludes today's presentation. We remind you that all the parts and supplies required to rebuild this axle can be purchased through our website at www.lowrangeoffroad.com or by calling 801-805-6644.